Hey yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Rad Stowe back at it again. And today you can see triple layered up. Why? Cause it's freezing. You already know why. But we're getting hit with another cold front. This is not cool. But anyways, what I'm gonna be installing today is fire extinguisher. So I know a lot of people, you know, even from like simple mods, like an amp install, a speakers and other electrical stuff like that, and especially engine mods. Like, um, I don't know why, but a lot of us do not run fire extinguishers, which we got to change that. Like these things, I didn't realize that these things are cheap. You can get two of these. I think I got this from Home Depot. It came out as like a kitchen set. So they both work on flammable liquids, electricals, and then that red one is fabrics, and the other white one is like a kitchen appliances. And I think I got those, both of them, for like $40 or something like that, but this is a must have. So if you're watching this video, click the link down in the description or something, I'll find a cheap one for y'all with some mounted brackets and get one installed in your car. You know, save your builds. There's some videos out there of cars catching on fire and people and people losing their builds because they do not have this $20 bottle in their car. This is what I'm gonna be using to mount it in the car. I have uh, two different options for y'all. So this one, as you can see, mounts underneath the seat right there in front. And then this one, if you have a half cage or any type of roll bar, this is what you can also use. So I'm gonna put this one in the FR, I'm gonna put this one in the RSX and then put this one in the FRS and then pick up another one of these, maybe even another one for the Tahoe. Cause like I said, they're not that expensive, definitely worth the buy. So this right here is from Bracketeer. They do have uh, car specific ones, but I went ahead and got the universal one. And here we're gonna have the mounting hardware along with the instructions and then the actual bracket itself. So come to find out after reading the instructions, I need a uh, fire bottle cradle for this to work. But luckily I do have this hook that goes onto the fire extinguisher and these line up in this hole. So if you wanna use that, you can, or you can buy a specific one that has that quick release tab on it. So this is too easy not to pick one of these up. So pretty much you're gonna put this bracket either on top or on the bottom of this bar. It doesn't matter, whatever gives you the best clearance. And then you can either mount this like this or like that. So we're gonna go over to the car I'll show y'all what I mean by that and figure out which orientation works best. So I said I wasn't gonna mount this in the FRS, but the way the seats bolt into here, uh, I can show y'all exactly what I mean. So you can either mount these brackets on the end, either this way to go into the bolts like that, if your seat slider doesn't get in the way, or you can flip this upside down, put that on the inside of the seat slider or the seat rail and then put this one on the inside, just like that. And here we are at the RSX, and you can see that there are no bolts up here to where the seat bolts into. It's actually back there. So you can see that I have the bracketeer bracket right there going on the inside and on the inside over there. So once you get it to where you want it to, push that tight on the other end, and then tighten down those Allen heads. So this is what the fire extinguisher looks like with the bracket installed on the seat rails. It is out of the way if you do have a passenger in there. The only thing is, is if you use your second row in a two door car, it is not gonna work because the seat's gonna go on the rails like that and it's gonna hit the fire bottle. So if you have a two door and you use the second row, you're gonna have to use a different type of mounting bracket. But I mean this, is fine and I do recommend mounting this fire extinguisher to where the handle is on this side because if you're driving you just want to reach down quickly and then just take the fire bottle like that rip the pin out and then with it like that you have to fumble around don't want to like prematurely uh, rip this handle up but that is the install of the bracketeer bracket all right and here's the universal clamp this one really easy all you have to do pull that and the fire bottle comes out just like that, super easy. So this is really nice because this you can put on anything and it comes with three different sizes that you can mount this to. So I'm gonna be using these two small ones down here 
or my bad, down here to put this onto the car and then to put this onto the fire bottle. I think just two of these will be fine. But depending on whatever you're putting this into, there's enough options for you to put this anywhere. Okay, hold on, real quick, hear me out. Nice. All right, and these clamps are really easy to use. If you've never used them before, all you need to do is just put this piece into there, tighten it down, and it'll clamp down. And then make sure you have this, I'd recommend on the back side of wherever this pin is at, because if you're gonna reach for this in an emergency, you're not really gonna be looking, not really gonna be paying attention. So you don't wanna clip yourself on this cause that'll hurt. <clears throat> Make sure you put these on the back side of wherever this pin is at. And then once you got this all set in there, just like that, that'll come out. You'll find whichever other size you need. So I'm gonna be putting mine on a roll cage. So these small ones will work just fine if you're gonna be mounting it on something thicker. Hey, yo, chill. Anyways, if you're gonna be mounting this on something bigger, then you can use those ones. And if you wanna protect whatever you're using or whatever these are going around, you can get a little bit of heat shrink and then put that on there, shrink it down. Big brain. And the most important part of this install is gonna be where to put this fire extinguisher. And that's gonna be wherever you can quickly and safely get to this thing in the event of a fire. So for me, that is behind the passenger seat. Ideally, I would have liked to put it down there so it didn't obstruct my rear view, but just up here was just better for me. And with this, you just pull the pin, take the bottle out, leave the bracket up there, drive around, and then put it back up there. And then also with that, I do have the tube facing backwards, just in case if this ever goes off for any reason, it'll shoot to the back of the car and not to the front. Or if I do have a fire back there, I can just pull the pin out and then shoot that back there. And it doesn't obstruct my view too much. I could still see my blind spot back there because of this Broadway mirror is just extra wide. So for me, not too big of an issue. And as you can see behind me, I got it all mounted up. I did forget about putting this piece on that up there. So I might take that off and put that on there. But for the most part, that is good. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, very easy. I think all in all, either setup is gonna cost you like $50. Look in the description, I have both brackets listed below and a fire bottle. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's like $50 shipped to your place and like 15 minutes of your time. It really save you a lot. So definitely consider this mod well worth it. But I will catch y'all in the next one later.